I'm Mitch Hank with a, a few words about the primary tomorrow. That's right, there's an election tomorrow. Mitch, what's it for? It's February. Well, it's the primary election for mayor. There are four candidates trying to defeat Paul Soglin, who's been mayor for a long time, off and on. Uh, what's the liberal conservative split in Madison? It's 70 30. The stereotype is it's heavily liberal, uh, heavily left of center because of the makeup of the council and the mayor and so forth. But I think back 20 years ago, there was a vote to ban handgun ownership in the city. I was a reporter then on NBC 15. Paul Sanglin was the mayor. He was for it. They didn't want people to own handguns in the city. Uh, long guns were fine at home and so forth. And I'd cover the hearings and NRA people from outside of Madison would come and fight and shout. And people, I'd hear the scuttlebutt in the hallways of police officers who were against this, uh, worried about off-duty possession. And in the end, the vote failed. The people who wanted to own guns in the city limits prevailed. It was like 50-50. So both sides were maximized. So I think the breakdown really is 50-50. It's just that liberals vote in primaries and conservatives do not in local races. Chad Sanborn, who was a conservative on the city council, uh, ran in a district, uh, Green Tree neighborhood south of Schrader Road on the southwest side, also parts of Hawks Landing. He once went door to door in Hawks Landing in a neighborhood and had his list, it showed that every house in that neighborhood, no, no one had ever voted in a February primary, except one house, and that was the one progressive Dane house. So liberals vote in local races, conservatives do not, which I think explains why there's an 80-20 or 70-30 or 90-10 difference in a lot of local races, not because it's that way in reality. My two cents, don't forget to vote, by the way. My two minutes are brought to you by Capital Consultants and Edge Construction. Mike Tuig and his staff can redo your kitchen, your bedrooms, your bathroom, your stairway, make your home feel just like home. See you next time.